Ashley. Good evening and welcome Mark to Edgar Stadium Tech. here in Van Wert. We're at his homecoming, Maria as you can see the festivities the in the background Service pack. of our football game National for you this Honor evening. is the Western Buckeye League the matchup. The Shawnee Christian Indians Athletes. are here to play the Van Wert Cougars. My name is Mark Scheiss, my players to play by play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, kind of a rough year for Shawnee right now. They've had some quarterback issues with injury, but their defense has been pretty solid this year. Yeah, you know it has, and I think, you know, when things go south a little bit, losing a quarterback on the offensive end, you better be good on defense, and that's that's key. And I think that's key going into this game, obviously, because they're number one against the pass. Van Wert, number one passing team. So, you know, they've got to do it. All right, let's talk about the Van Wert Cougars. They're five and one. As Jerry said, they are the number one passing team in the conference, and that is because of their quarterback, Aiden Pratt, and a very healthy group of wide receivers, Jerry. It's a pass-oriented offense, but they can run it too. You know, it sure is, and when you talk about they can pass and they can run, the first thing you have to look at is Aiden Pratt. You know, he can do both. He's a running quarterback. He's a passing quarterback. You know, they're very, very well Rounded, very confident coming into this game as well. Well, Judge, the other thing we need to look at, Shawnee this year, turnover ratio minus seven. The Cougars are a plus seven. That could be a big factor this evening, too. Yeah, and I think if you talk to any coach, I mean, you can talk keys of the game, and I don't know of any coach that doesn't say, win the turnover battle. Time, like so, football, you know, it's always the case. And, and again, with those that discrepancy in the numbers, that Eli could be State big University. tonight. We are in week seven. It's Western Buckeye Engineer. League action. The opening Senior kickoff right after this. You're watching high school football at WOSN. We're back at Dagger Stadium here in Van Wert. It's Shawnee. They come in at one and five. They are one and four in the Western Buckeye League Conference, and their opponent tonight is the homestanding Van Wert Cougars. Van Wert's five and one. They are four and one in the Western Buckeye League as we head into week number seven of the high school playoffs, uh, high school regular season. My name is Mark Shine. Jerry Snodgrass is alongside. Shawnee will take the kickoff as Van Wert will kick in their direction. It is 63 degrees, Jerry. There's a breeze into our face from the east. You tell me I'm looking at clouds from Hurricane Ian. Way yes, out there. we are. The and when you said week in. seven, yes. week seven, we're at 63 degrees, yes. sunny. 10, We've Keenan had no Wilson. rain in northwest Ohio, I don't think, in any game this year so far. The athletic director's dream. It has been beautiful so far. There's a bit of a breeze that's blowing into our face. That means it's across the field from the Shawnee side towards the Van Wert side. A lot of uh, nostalgia here at this stadium. I, I love this place. Goes back to my coaching days at Defiance. So, but you know, again, soon to be renovated too. Here's the kickoff. It's popped up. This is going to head down and bounce in front of Christian Jones, and Christian Jones is going to get snowed under. Number one, Christian Jones on the return. Shawnee's quarterback, and they've had injury the situations five, there since Seaman. Dominic Lynch was injured, the junior. And they will go tonight with uh, Zach, excuse me, with uh, Chase Beery. Chase wears number five. He's Ball's a 5'11", 182 pound uh, junior. And in the backfield with him will be number two. That is Jordan Banks. And a whole host of receivers. Absolutely, so. yes. Banks is actually uh, in the slot right now and will go in motion. Hand off, Banks, and he will get over the 20. Number two, Jordan Banks on the carry. You know, they've primarily, Shawnee has primarily been, been a running team, and I think a lot of that simply Tackle because of changing quarterbacks that was unexpected here at the start of the year. But, the you know, they've gotten better as time goes on, and uh, again, as we mentioned in the pregame, you know, that's good, solid defense. But, you know, what, th pick up a three on that, you know, little by little. Jordan Banks uh, is the leading ball carrier for Coach Cooper's team, 389 yards on the ground. Here's a quick pass out that will be caught by Banks. And got him out in space, and he gets wrestled down out of bounds by, Connor, uh, by Carson two, Smith. Banks. Brought down by two, Carson Smith. But also manageable now. Gain of three, third and five for the Indians. And the ball goes to the 24-yard line. They need four. They need to get to the... About the 28 for a first down. There goes Beery. He's going to run right. Beery tucks it inside. First down yardage. 
Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Good decision that time by Chase Berry. But found on the, the hole. Good blocking Gabe up Steven. front. Is on the play is good for Falls an out to first the 32-yard line and picking up the first down. You know, and I never, ever uh, leave an opportunity to go to not, me not mention those hogs up front that do such a good job. But Kayser, Clayton, Coppler, Marshall, Sewell, you know, they, they, they're in the trenches, you know, and they do the hard work. Did a nice job there. Beery keeps again. Got a man pulled in front of him. He tucks it up. Gets to about the 36-yard line. Chase Barry on the keeper. That would be a four-yard pickup. Brought down by 53, Jacob Furst, and 54, Logan Dotson. Yeah, and we see the number 15, Aiden Pratt, loses his hat, hits to the sideline. Game line. of four, second six He'll for the He'll be replaced Indians. by Fletcher Smith for this play. You know, and you see this right now. You know, I realize that we're only a couple minutes into the game, but, you know, you see them. They're moving the ball. Yep. You know, three, four yards a crack, what they need to do. But, and that's where the turnover battle becomes so, so important. Just keep possession. This is Banks off right tackle. Banks up close to a first down. Number two, Jordan Solid Banks. Solid run for him. Brought down by seven, and Brylin Parker. The, uh, Mark is just, Mark a, is just a short, isn't yeah. it? Gain of four, second, third and one. Nope, they the gave games. it to him. They, yes, they did. I thought it should have been. First down. Two of them on this drive for Coach Cooper's team. Of course, the other thing is, uh, when you're doing that, uh, you don't have uh, Aiden Pratt with a football in his that's hands, That's right. Too. So yeah, and that's I should have mentioned that early on. That is huge. Here's Chase Beery, and we'll roll right, tuck it, and we'll go down just over the line of scrimmage. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Brought down by 23, Damon McCracken. Yeah, Damon McCracken oh. came in from that linebacker Short spot, just play, shot in there, the read that play so well. Kraken's had a really good year in that defensive position this year. Second and nine, Indians. They are in their white jerseys this evening, black and red trim. They weren't in their gray with red trim. Banks heads to the opposite side of the formation. Two receivers to the left for Beery. Quick out. That's caught. He throws it right into the hands of Keegan Wilson. Number five, Chase Second Berry's completion in this Keegan drive Wilson. to the 47-yard line. Two, They're going to need Smith. about five on third down. And just looking right now at those little, just, you know, little dinks and dunks out there trying to get a few yards out of it. Again, got a third down and manageable. Chase Beery headed to the sideline to get the play call from his coach and back into the huddle. Still plenty of time on the clock. Got number 12, Zach Newton, in the backfield with him. Here he will roll right and look and look and throw and throw it over the head. Tried to squeeze it in to Keegan Wilson and missed him. will go in complete. Yeah, he had Keegan Wilson 13, open, but that's complete. always so much easier for Broke us to see than four, it is on that field Russell. when he's looking through a big bunch of linemen. If Shawnee goes into the punt situation five, as it appears to, their punter is Shannon Sewell. had a really good this year this year. He is second in the Western Buckeye League in punting. Averages almost 39 63, yards. 63, Shannon Sewell in the punt. So the Indians Back had it for, for 340 seven, before Brian they Parker. appear to be punting it away. Parker's deep. Yeah, that's why he's averaging yeah. 30. 38 plus yards, good hop and good roll too inside the 15 yard line. Yeah, great punt. Punch down was. right around the 13 yard line. It'll be first and 10 so for the Cougars. Put it down to 13, and that brings out their quarterback, Aiden Pratt. 163 completions, 168 attempts, Jerry. Two interceptions on the season. Yeah, incredible. He has yep. three rushing TDs, 19 passing TDs. Um, he's a threat from everywhere. Could well go over 2,000 yards throwing the football this season. Tonight, he has 1,885. He's averaging 55 yards a game rushing. So, you know, and again, when you add 314 yards a game passing, yeah, he's a pretty big threat. His receivers go two by two. This time, he's going to put Connor Campbell in motion and will roll left. Looks, looks. What a run pass and option here. And Get swatted down. Was intercepted. Oh, intercepted. Picked off. I think it was got crabbed by Carter Fay. Number 15. Aiden There's Pratt's your turnover, Jerry. Yes, it is. How Fay. critical those can be. 
You know, that starts, too, when you think about it, with a great punt backing them up inside the 20. The six yard line, first and All goal. All the way the back Indians. to the six yard line. The ball was batted into the hands of Carter Fay. And Shawnee in business on the six yard line of the Cougars. Trying to get on the scoreboard first. And for a team that has difficulty scoring points, that's a, this would be a really huge advantage for yes, them. Yes, it would. Chase Beery alone in the backfield is going to put Banks in motion. Keeps it himself and dives down inside the three. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Brought down by 53, Jacob Furst. On the, well, the scoreboard Game says three, the second goal for the Indians. Four yard line. Closer to the three. He just blew something up in the end zone. Something Jerry. sure blew yeah. up. <laughs> There may not be any hamburgers and hot, uh, hot dogs at halftime. I don't know what that was. And I'm there. here to tell you, nobody scored, so it was not a. Uh, yeah, <laughs> correct. Here's Beery. He's got Noonan in the backfield. Handoff. Banks starts inside. Did he get there? Touchdown. He did. Number two, Jordan Banks. On Jordan the Banks Good with a three-yard touchdown, touchdown run. And the Indians are on the board first. You know, when you're coming into a game one in five, and, you know, you're playing a a league favorite, a league leader. Boy, is that important. That just, the mindset, the, the momentum, everything about it. Just a two play drive. Our touchdowns today are sponsored by Hague Towing. Providing fast towing and roadside assistance, lockouts, flat tires, cars and ditches or dead batteries. You can depend on Hague Towing 24 seven. Now kick yes, is up, it's up good. good by number 19, seven, 17 to go here in the first. It's Shawnee seven and Van, we're nothing. You're watching high school football, WOSN. A Carter Fay interception turns into a Jordan Banks three yard touchdown run. Number Two plays, six Tyler yards, 43 seconds. Our scoreboard today is made possible by Loudix Jewelry, your family and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them Back at Coldwater the or Van Wert six, Nate or Phillips, online at loudix.com. Shawnee will kick off. This duty is by Tyler Kimmett, and he just lines it down the field, bounces around, picked up by one of the up guys, and he's got some room to run, and then gets snowed under. Number 28, Reese Crew. That was Crew number 28, return. Reese Crew. Yeah, I had a chance to get him about Brought 10 down yards by 11, back. Ben Bullock and 21, Julian Mike Makeley. So just the third interception of the year for Aiden Pratt. And now his team will the take over trailing by seven on their own 34-yard line. Maddox Crutfield has 33 catches, 540 yards, and six scores. Connor Campbell has 23 receptions, 405, and six scores. And Pratt will run this time. He's tackled from behind, 15, Aiden Pratt brought down by Carter Fay. Brought down by 20, Carter Fay. Picked up about five, five to the 39. Second and five for the Cougars. Yeah, they like these, you know, second down. Now you see wide open offense here. Quick out. This is put into the hands of Gar Garrett Gunter. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass complete to 10, Garrett Gunter. Gunter had 31 catches, 431 yards, and three Julian scores this Zone year. That's the first down. Cougar. To the 47-yard line. They go again. Trips left, two, right, two receivers to the right. Quick out again. Same guy, and that one will fall incomplete. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass. And on that last one, Brylon Parker was out there with a nice lead block. Defended Got him an extra probably Bakley. five or six yards. Second 10 for the Cougars. Second and 10, back to the line of scrimmage come the Cougs. And what do we got? An official's timeout. Hank got to move the football back a little bit. I think it was improperly marked that time. There's a Pratt run. And Pratt will bulldoze up Number close 15, to the first down the in Shawnee territory. He would, Pratt was tied up about two yards deep behind the line of first scrimmage and 12, somehow Zach, just kept his feet this shuffling. Good for a Cougar. We got through. an Indian down on the field, Jerry. We're going to take a break while they tend to the injured player. You're watching high school football at WOSN. You can see on our screen the injured player is Julian Makeley. And he's having some assistance to get off the field. We wish him the best. Got to catch up on a couple things. I missed an extra point sponsor a moment ago. Extra points are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on Irving Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. 
And we just had a timeout. Our timeouts are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Quick pass out. That's caught out on the perimeter as he put the ball in the hands of Crutchfield. Pass complete to number 11, Maddox you know, hit, hits his favorite receiver, but you know when you're running Run a wide open nine, offense Wyatt like Morgan that, and 15, you've got Goldstorm. very good athletes, obviously, with Crutchfield and Dana also five, with uh, five for the Cougars. Pratt. But, boy, they just give them a little space, and off they go. Pratt's being chased from behind and throws it, and it goes through the arms as he tried to squeeze it into Connor Campbell Pratt's under pressure. That falls in completely Campbell's good to third incomplete. down. Good pressure that time. 15, Joel Stern, third and five for the Cougars. Chased from behind as Pratt rolled to his right. It's third now and five, and quite possibly is three down or four down territory. Should that be necessary? Number 11 in the backfield is Crutchfield. Three receivers to the right. And Pratt, quick pitch ahead. That's a short completion to Crutchfield, and that will be second effort. Got him the first down, I think. Pass complete to 11, Maddox Crutchfield. Is that a first down? It is very Brought close. Nine, and Morgan, and we're going to take a look at it. It better be. I already marked it down as one. Has to be. It is. <laughs> and we're going to bring the sticks in and take a look at it. It's the ball's Time on the 32-yard line, which is just about where they needed to go for this one. And yeah, nice little shovel pass that time. And give the offensive lineman, you know, for Van Wert a lot of credit. Jackson Jones, center, 55, that anchors that whole line. And... Devin Story, Jacob Gething, uh, Caleb Bledsoe, and Logan Dotson. Stretch that sticks out, and it is a first down. After the measurement, the result of the play is good for a Cougar. Drive began back on Van Wurst's 34-yard line. They have a first down now on the Indian 32. As we're halfway through quarter number one on a beautiful night for high school football. The final Friday of September. How'd that happen, Jerry? I believe, yeah. Trips right, two receivers to the left for Pratt. He's going to run a quarterback draw up the middle. Plenty of room to run. He slides down Number after a good run. Pratt on the keeper. Another first down, I think. Picks up. No, he's just a little yeah, bit short, I think. You're right. They're going to set it down where the slide began, which is the 24-yard line. So let's give him eight. eight. on the play. Second two for the Cougars. Second down, same formation. Pratt again. Being chased this time from behind, snaps the throw, and it falls incomplete as he put a little bit too much mustard on for Max Crutchfield to catch. For 11, Maddox Crutchfield you know, there are 11 complete. players on the field, but boy, Pratt is just Defended so athletic 11, and makes Bullock. so many things happen. That last years. quarterback draw was designed that way, and, you know, again, just kind of tiptoes when he has to, and, you know, good, good field sense. Here's Good what I vision. think gets lost about Crutchfield. He's 220 pounds. Yes. He's not a small man playing wide out. Here's a handoff inside. This, this is Brylon Parker. Number seven, Brylon Parker on the carry. You know, Parker's averaging just under five yards a carry. Brought down by three. He Joey has nine Spiker. rushing TDs on the air. So, again, you talk about all the depth all and all the balance they have. Ball goes to the 21-yard line. He picked up three. And. Kept the sticks moving with a first down. That's four first downs on this drive. Pratt looks, keeps, up the middle he goes. And he gets down to about the 15-yard line. Pratt on the keeper. That's such a challenge for the defensive backs of, of Shawnee. Of you know, they've got to stay Perry. home. You know, they want to come up, and about the time they do, he's going to loft seven, one over second them. Second three for the Cougars. Six-yard pickup to the 15. Maybe about seven, actually. There's Pratt again, quick look, pass, Parker catches this one, and he is going to be knocked down about the 10-yard line. That also seven, looks like Ryland a Parker. first down. See if it's inside the 10, Brought making it number nine, Wyatt Morgan. first and goal, and it so is. For a Cougar. The ball is right on the 10-yard line. They cannot get a first down. Parker in the backfield along with and Parker. Nope, Pratt keeps it himself and darts up the middle, and... Into the end zone, a 10-yard touchdown run. That is Aiden Pratt's fourth touchdown run of the year. A touchdown center sponsored by Hague Towing, providing fast towing and roadside assistance. Lockouts, flat tires, cars and ditches, or dead batteries. You can depend on Hague Towing 24-7. PAT attempt by Damon McCracken. Our points after are sponsored by Lee Kinsel on Irving Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. 
Again, a lot of that touchdown drive was Pratt's footwork. Falls down, kicks up, it sails off the go post, and will be incomplete. Touchdown With that, up and no good. Shawnee will maintain a 7-6 lead. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert, the Aiden Pratt 10-yard touchdown run. That was a 13-play, 66-yard drive. Took just under three minutes to do so. The missed PAT makes it 7-6, Shawnee. And you know, despite that long drive, I mean, I know we're awfully early into the game, but same time, you know, through all that, hey, Shawnee, you're still ahead. Here's McCracken's kickoff. This will sail down to Jordan Banks. Banks runs right up the middle and runs into some Cougars at about the 23. Brylon Parker on first contact. Good hit on the play by seven, Brylon Parker. So Shawnee will get possession number three. And the football goes down on the 24-yard line. Ball's at the 24-yard line, first and 10 for the Indians. It's season 18 of the Sports Report. Every Friday night, you can catch Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Chase Berry in the backfield along with Jordan Banks. Berry keeps. And we'll get about three. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. To the 27-yard line. Brought down by 54, Logan Dawson. Well, the good thing, uh, Jerry, if you're a Shawnee Indian, first of all, your head. But second, second they have not had any negative plays yet. No, they have not. And, you know, again, I, you don't underestimate, you know, with, uh, you know, Chase Berry, he's you know, he's almost 200 pounds. Yes. So uh, you know, see, you're seeing him carry the ball a lot. A lot of those quarterback keepers, and uh, you know, there's a reason for it. He's a good, strong running back. Trying to get everybody organized. Looked like Zach Noonan. Now Banks is going to shift into the slot on the left side, and Coach Cooper takes a timeout. Timeouts are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, Indians, helping you plan your financial future. Future visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Well, Jerry, we're at 336, and right now let's talk a little bit about John Reed Leadership Award. You can nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, and commitment to others, as well as excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV backslash John Reed, and I know that means something to you because Coach Reed's a family yeah. member. Yes, he is. He's a cousin, and he was a cousin, and... You know, I, again, you look at awards sometimes that are named after people and, you know, what they stand for. Boy, I tell you, that award just epitomizes John Reed through and through. And I'm so proud of the family and, you know, what that, what that award stands for. As somebody who gets to be on the committee that evaluates all of those people, it can be an assistant coach, head coach, middle school guy, someone who exemplifies what Coach Reed did. Here's Banks on the sweep. Banks turns the corner, and first down, we got a flag. Yep. Number two, Jordan Banks on the carry. Can we have a hold. Yeah, I in believe. The line yeah. there. Number four, Luke Wessel. It's our first penalty of the game. Let's going to bring the Indians back. Penalty marker on the play. You know, you mentioned you know, Coach Reed, and you know, of course, passed away some years ago now. But you know, terrible, terrible well, situation there the in cold water. I knew Brian Harlemer, you know, yes. quite well through administrating baseball, and I, you know, he was just a, a just a great human being. You know, and on top of that, he was a great baseball coach. He was. And it just like, you just, you know, everybody's Lost special. Six on the play, when they, 12 for the Indians. None of that success ever went to his head. And if he saw you somewhere, somebody told me something about him, said that, you know, it didn't matter who you were, where it was, he'd text you back in a heartbeat. And the more I think about it, I was one of those that got those text messages at times. Great guy. The ball goes back to the 22-yard line. Shawnee facing second and 12. Beery to throw. Blitz coming. And he's going to roll right, tuck it and run, and make a little bit of positive yardage out of it. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. He's been chased in the backfield by Devin Story. Out of bounds by 54, Logan Dotson. You know, I didn't see Berry when he got his first start, you Game know, quarterback early in the year. But I can tell he's become very comfortable back there. Doesn't have a lot of time, but at least, you know, tucked it and ran it. And, you know, he knew on the sideline. Get out of bounds. We don't need another quarterback in there. Picked up some positive yardage. It's now going to be third and ten facing the Indians. This is worth three minutes to go here in our opening quarter from Edgar Stadium here in Van Wert. 
Beery's going to roll to his left this time. Here's pressure from Pratt. Tucks in, runs. Beery dives forward, and we're going to get a flag in. Number five, Chase Berry on the carry. Well, Banks was downfield. He was down tied up with Dobson. Gage Stemmen. There's a penalty marker on the play. I would, I would guess, especially since Berry couldn't find him, he was probably held. Well, let's see. The football is on the 32-yard line, which is he needed to get to the 34 for a first down. And yeah, let's see what the discussion is. I think I neglected to read our officiating crew's names tonight. Uh, James Bailey, Jason Bott, Jeremy Bott, Jeff Cassidy, and Alan Ripley make up this crew. And they are meeting to discuss this particular situation. You know, Mark, I did a podcast the other day on, you know, the officiating shortage and, you know, kind of the structure about it all. And, you know, one of the things I failed to mention is I'm starting to see... A personal foul against the Cougars for blindside block. Oh, wow. Several officials that... Uh, several people that are coaches in one sport getting their officiating license in another. Yeah. Because, you know, they recognize it as much as anybody that... For the Indians. Boy, hats off to them. Absolutely. That penalty will take the football all the way to the 47-yard line. It's personal foul. A blindside hit. So I'm guessing what happened is Gage Stemmen got into Jordan Banks when Banks couldn't see him coming. Well, Stemmen also helped him up. He did, afterwards, yep. And, you know, they went on their way. It was no – you give him credit for that. Well, I, here's another Coach Cooper timeout. We're going to take a break out, also. Metzger Financial time Services out timeout. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back in here at Van Wert. Shawnee's uh, coach Jerry Cooper's taking his second time out here in the opening quarter. First and 10 at their own 47 yard line. This is Noonan, steps inside and into Cougar territory. Number 12, Zach Noonan on the carry. You know, Mark, I was not in that huddle when Coach Cooper called that, but I thought it was a very good timeout. You yeah, know, it's, seven, a, it's a, he's trying to control the game. Game and, of four seconds. You know, again. Indians. Every time you can keep the ball out of their hands, you know, and slow the game down a little bit even. Pick up a four for Noonan on first down. A little counterplay action. He wears number 12 and is set to the right of Chase Beery. Beery will roll right. Noonan gets a block, and he turns the corner. And up the sideline it goes. That will be a first down. Number five, Chase Beery on the keeper. Boy, I like what they're doing. I like what Shawnee's doing. They're nothing fancy. Ran Just trying to get, five, you know, Steven. four, five, six Zorka yards at a time if they can get it. Down. Well, if there is a weakness in, in the uh, Cougar defense, they are number six in the conference against the Rush. They give up 151 yards on the ground. And so far, Shawnee has kind of exploited that some. And you look at the strength of Shawnee, it is their running game. their running game. Here's Berry off left tackle. And he's got another solid pickup down to about the 35-yard line. It'll be a pickup about seven. We've got a, we're playing yeah, down we do, don't we? A little bit of sportsmanship helping people up. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Berry's had a good opening quarter. Seven-yard pickup to the 35. Gain of seven, second and three for the Indians. That was Logan Dotson, a little slow getting up off that. And we're uh, seated here outdoors with the Van Wert people, and this Shawnee drive has quieted them. Yes, it, it has. Shawnee's done a really good job here in the opening quarter and lead to 7 6. Chase Beery has two receivers to his left, Banks is to his right. Beery to throw and now has to run. Up the sideline he goes, more yardage, and another first down before Beery gets out of bounds. Beanbag or flag, Jerry? Beanbag, I think. Yep, I think it was. Ran you know, out of bounds by seven, Brylan Parker. Thing again, Tony though, Parker I'll talk about Beery. I mean, he did, he's not getting much time back there. And Oh, no, it was a flag. No, it was a flag. Yeah, I thought it was. Ooh, that's a big pass. I knew something came flying over there, and the beanbags or that orange is almost a, a look-alike to yellow sometimes. It is a flag right about the 29-yard line. Penalty goes against the Indians for holding. Well, let's see what uh, Shawnee is able to do with this. That has been something they have had issues with this year. Shawnee has. Good news if there is anything. It was a spot, makes it spot second foul yeah. so for the Indians. Correct. Doesn't put him to, puts him about what four four yards 
before that down. So they are on the 39-yard line of the Van Wert Cougars, and they are facing a second and about seven. Banks goes to his to the right. Two receivers left. Noonan's in the backfield with Beery. Linebackers are coming on this. They sure Quick are. out, and that one got knocked down. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Five, you can see back, those linebackers down just line of scrimmage by 15, Aiden Pratt. trying to read the count. Third down and seven for the Indians. Third and seven, Shawnee. 117 to go here in the opening quarter. Barry went over to the sidelines, had a little conversation with Coach Cooper about how we're going to handle this third and seven play. Newton and Banks in the backfield. Now Banks is going to go into the slot on the left-hand side. Jack Newton goes in motion, and Beery runs up the middle, picks his way, bounces to the right, and tries to turn the corner and can't. Gets knocked out of bounds. Number five, Chase Berry. And I would guess, I would think they're in four-down territory down by four, here. Luke so. Wessel. Well, they're on the 36-yard line. They need to get to. Uh, Eight of three, fourth and four for the Indians. Yeah, they need to get to about the 32 on this play. They're about four yards short. Going out of bounds, stops the clock at 1.10 to go in the opening quarter. Now the uh, Cougar fans come to life a yeah. little bit. They want to stop fourth here. Down, yep. Fourth and four. Newton will run left and brought down yeah. in the backfield. Knocked down back there by Damon McCracken. Number five, Chase Berry, sacked on the play by 23, Damon McCracken. And Shot the gap and knocked him down. I think you're going to see a lot more of that, Max. too. You know, with so little time for Berry to pass, I, you know, you're going to see those linebackers coming hard. So Van Wert holds, and they will take over on their own 38-yard line, 105 to go here in our opening quarter. See what Coach Recker chooses to do. They're 5-1 and one this year, 4-1 and one in Western Buckeye League play. Aiden Pratt alone in the backfield. Parker goes in motion, and Pratt keeps it, and he is having – Number Good success with his feet in this opening quarter. You know, and that's a read for Brought him. He's, 15, he's reading Stern. that, and he's read it well. always good for a Cougar. Until they stop him. 12-yard pickup. First down right at midfield. This is Parker in motion. Pratt looks, looks, looks. Guns it over the middle. It's caught. Here's Connor Campbell. And Campbell inside the Number Shawnee 30 to the 27-yard line. 23-yard pickup. Brought down by 15, Joel Stern. Is all plays good for Campbell's got six TDs on the year himself. So, you know, he's their second leading receiver with 23 receptors. Excuse me, third leading receiver. Another quick out. This one's caught by Garrett Gunter. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass complete to 10. Garrett Gunter. Knocked yeah. out of bounds. They're in the hurry up mode I'm right just now. Say, yep. They'll be at the line. Brought down by 31, here. Colton Hobson. And. Eight of nine, second and one for the Cougars. Well, they're trying to decide what to do with this marker on. I guess it's just a nine yard pickup. To the 18-yard line. Here's Pratt picking his way inside the 15. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. That will be a first down as Pratt got to about the 13-yard line. Result so, plays good for so many Cougar. weapons. They had that same formation a little while ago and gave that little shovel, shovel pass. It picked up about seven yards down there. Three receivers right, two left for Pratt. Fakes a pass, jumps up the middle, and the 205-pounder goes inside the 10. Aiden Pratt on the keeper. And that may well be the final play Brought of our opening 15, quarter. Stern. Gain of five, second five for the Cougars. That it is. 12 minutes in the books. It's Shawnee 7. It's Van Wert 6, but the Cougars are knocking on the door. You're watching High School Football, WOSN. Second quarter action, our scoreboard is made possible by Loudex Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert or online at loudex.com. And on our first play of the second Pratt quarter, the Pratt with a keep. Not Pratt sure whether he got to the end zone. Moving. Did he get his first down? A couple yards short. Yeah, looks like it. 
Ball's listed Just as being the on the three. Short for the Very short yardage. They can get a first down. Pratt hands off to Parker, and Parker is into the end zone. Parker Braylon Parker's 10th rushing touchdown of the year. Now I think that's the first uh, offensive time that they've had uh, Parker lined up behind him, so he probably knew he was going to get the ball. See if Van Wert chooses to go for two here in this situation. Looks like they brought McCracken in. Touchdowns are made possible tonight by Haig Towing. Fast towing and roadside assistance. Lockouts, flat tires, cars and ditches are dead batteries. You can depend on Haig Towing 24-7. Lee Kinsel sponsors our extra points there on Irving Road in Van Wert. You can take a look at a pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. Here's McCracken's PAT attempt. And they're going to go for two. Here's McCracken trying to get to the end zone. And a little pass. Is it caught? Is it? It is not. A little trickery. Good little play. Yeah, down to the end McCracken zone. But pass. it gets tipped but away two, right? and will stay at 12-7 instead of Van Wert. In favor of Van Wert, you're watching high school football, WOSN. Van Wert Cougars go 62 yards, seven plays. A minute and a half went off the clock. Braylon Parker's three-yard touchdown run. PAT was not good, so we will stay at 12-7 Cougars. And McCracken will go to kick off. That extra point, the fake extra point, fake kick, executed extremely well, but Sean, he played it very well. Banks at the 12-yard line. Up the middle he goes. Pretty good return. Number two, Jordan Short Banks of the 30-yard line. And now Shawnee trailing for the first time this evening. By four, Luke Wessel. Saw Kerry Collins tonight. Balls at the 29-yard line. First yeah, and one of the, the what he coached eighth grade basketball here for like a million yep, years. Got yep. about that many wins. Yep. And not only that, but uh, his team's always played intelligently and with sportsmanship. Yep. The kind of guy you want coaching your kid. I think he told me this is his second year of being out of it a little bit, and it just felt it was time. But uh, he did a whole lot for this Van Wert basketball yes, he program. Did. Those guys that sometimes don't get the credit at those younger ages, especially, but so key to program. This is Banks sweeping the left side. Banks has got room to run and is going to get knocked out of bounds. Number two, Jordan Banks on the carry. As he got up to about the 35. You know, and you look, you know, we talk about uh, turnovers and, you know, being such a key, but you look at yeah, that so last drive from Shawnee Indians. and that holding penalty. Yep. As I re only resulted in a four-yard, you know, difference, but they picked up a first down prior to that. So, you know, those things are just so costly. Same play, other side. This time it's uh, Christian Jones carrying it, and he gets knocked down from behind. Jordan Banks on the carry. Run down on the play by 23, Damon McCracken. Boy, McCracken's, McCracken's name again. Yeah. yeah, Colin Haggerty was out there as Damon well. Two, third and three for the Indians. McCracken showed some great speed on that too. 36-yard line. Indians need about three here on third down. McCracken coming from that middle linebacker spot. Barry will keep it himself, and he's going to yeah. get knocked down again. That's McCracken again. McCracken again, yep. And Boy, they're going to be just short. His Fox, eyes and how he keeper. read that. Brought down again by 23, Damon McCracken. And his speed. And even though where that tackle was made, Both his speed of getting through there. He's a one, tough Indians. guy to block. Well, this is fourth and one, and this is an interesting call for Coach Cooper. He certainly doesn't want to give the ball back to Van Wert who has scored in their previous two possessions, but likewise, a gamble here gives Van Wert great field position. May try to pull him offside. Yeah, let's see what happens. There's a snap. Beery going to run, and he dove forward. He might have got there with second effort. Number five, Chase Berry on the carry. Let's see what the mark is. Got it. I think he did. Great second effort. How about Great that? Down by 53, Jacob Pierce. You mentioned earlier, you know, Beery goes 182 pounds, and he, he can run with some authority. 
He needed to get to the 39 and did so. He's got great foot, foot, footwork, great reads. Like I said, the biggest challenge for him, he just hasn't had the time, you know, on any of his passes. He's thrown short passes. Trying to get uh, Christian Jones in the right spot in the backfield. Now I think he's set. This will be Beery, and he tries to go up the middle. He might have got a yard. Some guy named McCracken made the tackle again. Chase Berry on the keeper. She just get a tape recorder Brought with a button. You know, tackle McCracken, McCracken, tackle McCracken. Yeah, I don't have to reads, say it then. He just so reads so play. well. Second and nine, Indians. Picked up one. Damon McCracken, 5'11", 205-pound senior linebacker. This time it's Zach Noonan in the backfield along with Beery. Two receivers to the left, single receiver right. Quick pass out to Banks. And that's going to be a short completion. Number It'll pick five, up yardage Banks to the 45. Two, Jordan Banks. Brought down by third two, and Carson about four. Gain of five, third and four. For the Again, Indians. manageable. Yep, good short pass. High completion rate. Get the ball into one of your playmakers' hands on the perimeter. You know, how, how much the game has changed. You know, it used to be, in, you know, going back a while, you didn't have that many receivers. You had like one receiver. Hmm. Now, everybody's athletic enough. They can catch the ball. Banks, he's going to throw it. He throws it out deep, and it's picked off. He throws it into the hands of Luke Wessel. Wessel, INT. Tackle was made two, Banks, by Preston yes. Copper, Picked but INT. Well, he was trying to throw that on the run, you know, and that was, couldn't get his feet set, get anything behind it. So Van Wert tried to come up with a little gadget type play on the sweep with Banks and the throw, but it was short, and Ball Wessel picked it off, and Van Wert has the football. 8.09 to go here in quarter number two. And I don't know who it was, but he was open. He was, he open, was open, yeah. But he just, you know, again, trying to throw that on the run like that was, you know, after getting the handoff, it was just a very, very tough throw to make. And we're just scored on their last two possessions, a Pratt run, a Parker run. This is Parker in motion, handoff. Parker made the first guy miss. He's got room to run. Parker up the sideline. Good Brown. run. Parker on the carry. Ran out of bounds by 12, Zach Noonan. You know, as, as much as we could look at that as a missed tackle back there, it was just more the athleticism of Parker. Here they come again. Quick set. Pratt whips it out. And the first guy misses. This is Gunter up the sideline before he gets knocked out of bounds. Pratt's pass complete to 10, Garrett Gunter. Brought to the down by Cougar 33-yard line. Is good for another Cougar. Get another first down. And there you go. There's the trouble because, you know, they're so diverse that as soon as they start playing that pass like that, they're going to just run it again. Pratt wings it out to the sideline. Gunter again. Pratt's pass complete Did he to catch 10, it? Gunter. Oh, was he out of bounds? I guess he. I guess out they're going to give him a couple, aren't Cole they? Yep. Short gain on the play. Second and nine for the Cougars. Picked up a yard, perhaps, to the 32. But they've been run, run, run with Pratt. You know, everybody's sneaking up to the line, and they're starting to they've passed this series. There's Parker again. And the ball's on the ground, and they fight for it. Did Pratt get back on Almost top of it? On the yep. play. Got it back. Yeah, he was going after along with Joey 15, Spiker. Pratt. But they keep possession. Ball, however, is back play, to about the 37. It'll be third down. Somehow third and 14 doesn't see much to <laughs> this <laughs> offense, does it? Here's Pratt to throw. Looks, guns over the middle, and it's a little bit high. A little high and a fourth down. Little, little, 15 yeah, in Pratt's bit pass and too much on it, I think. Campbell's incomplete. What a fourth Ten down. 12, Zach Noonan. Fourth and 14 for the Cougars. Coming into the night, Aiden Pratt, 123 completions in 168 attempts, 1,885 yards and 19 scores. See if they're bringing in their punter. They are. Gage Stemmen comes in. He averages 35.6. Stemmen does. Shawnee has nobody back. And 
Here's a snap, and the punt's away. And that's going to head. That's and he tried to hit the end zone and just missed it down there. Punt goes Shawnee the end zone will take over touchback. with 7.04 to go here in quarter number two. We're going to take a break. Media timeout. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Shawnee will take over on their own 20-yard line. They forced a punt that time, the first of the game by the Van Wert Cougars. And training by five, Shawnee gets the football the on their own 20. Banks, Banks spins over the 25-yard line, number takes two, a Jordan big Banks hit. From Steeman. Good hit on the play by number five, Gage Steeman. Some really good blocking that time up front by the Shawnee lineman. Picked up eight. Gain of eight, second and two for the Indians. Wouldn't Shawnee love to see a big drive here, about 10 or 12 plays, take four or five minutes off the clock and, you know, get back ahead perhaps. Yeah, and say a score. Wouldn't that be yeah, great? Touchdown puts them ahead. Of course, Cougars thinking stop and get the football back to their offense. Here's Beery, he's going to run left. First down. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Great game plan, I think, by Coach Cooper. I would agree. Brought down by 57, Devin Story. That's a five yard pickup for Beery. First down. They pick up 30, 13 yards on a couple of running plays. First down on their own 33 yard line. Halfway through, quarter number two here from. Edgar Stadium in Van Wert got a big remodel project coming up, don't they? Yes, they do. Past the levy, going to be a lot of changes here. And uh, you and I agree, we love these downtown stadiums, well, don't do. they? Part I of the sure community. Do. Yep. Here's Banks in motion, handoff, trying to sweep wide, has some ground. Banks turns it upside and runs hard to about the 40 I'm yard line. Banks, I think he wanted to go off tackle on that and just saw that Brought it was all five, plugged up and steaming. decided to bounce it outside and still picked yeah. up. Last, about six yards. Last week, talking about downtown four, stadiums, we were at Whole Field in Versailles, oh, one of my yes. favorite places to go. And I've done some upgrade there, too, from the days of Al Hetrick. Yeah. But uh, well, sure, there's some history in those oh, places. Oh, my goodness. You just love those places, don't you? You know, I spent bulk of my career coaching and administrating in Finley. And, you know, it's a downtown stadium and, mm -hmm. you know, people walking to the games and everything. It's really cool. Here's Beery. Lowers his head and gets to the 40. He's going to be short of the first down. Number five, Chase Perry on the keeper. Brought down by 23, Damon McCracken. Need about three here on third down. Gain of one, third Big and down. three for the Indians. Big down. For I, I heard a train a little while ago here, and our good friend Mark Miller says a lot of high school stadiums were built near railroads because land was available. Ah. And if you think about it, there have been sense. a lot of places that have uh, – High school stadiums near. Oh, here. Here's a sweep, trying to get the edges. Banks, and he got nowhere to go this time. Standing there's Brylan Parker. Number two, Jordan Banks on the carry. He's going to lose a couple back to the 38, the and we seven, have an Indian Brian down. Parker. Let's take a break. What we do with the injured player? You're watching high school football, WOS. You can see the cart has come on the field. That's uh, hauling Jordan Banks off, and we'll. Uh, Took a very serious couple of hits inside. He got up and was moving a little bit, but very gingerly. And Shawnee will head to punt formation. This will be their Back second the punt of the evening. And that's also the second major injury they've it had is. in this game. And that that's, they can ill afford that. Obviously, we hope and care for the young man. But Banks was having a really good football game, and we hope he is okay here in week number seven. The punter is Shannon Sewell. Had a good punt the first time. Let's see what happens with this one. And he gets into that one. Oh, boy. Yeah, the deep guy is Parker. And Parker makes the first couple guys miss. Look out. And almost spun through a tackle Number by seven, Ben Brian Bullock. Parker on the return. Such a hard guy to bring down. You know, his strength. And four. You got a running back. Number 11, ben you got a running Bullock. back back there receiving punts. So. That's a pretty tough thing. 4-11 to go. The Cougars will get the football on their own at 38-yard line. Yard yard line. For the I don't Mets. think it's redundant to say this is a huge series. Both ways. Yes. Yeah, and Van Wert will get the football first in half number two. So even more impetus, I think, for Shawnee to try to keep them off the board again. 
All right, receivers go three to the left, two to the right. Aiden Pratt. Pressure up the middle, throws, got a man wide open. He puts it right in the hands of Crutchfield. Crutchfield trying to outrun everybody in the end zone, and he does so. Maddox Crutchfield, seventh touchdown catch of the season, a 62-yard play. Well, one play, Cougars in business. From and he was wide open. And now here comes the PAT attempt. Our touchdowns tonight are sponsored by Hague Towing. And here's McCracken for the Lee Kinsel extra point attempt. Took all 12 seconds to do that. McCracken's kick is good. That puts his team up 19 to seven, and do so with 3.59 to go here before half. You're watching High School Football, WOSN. Touchdown pass, the 20th of the season by Aiden Pratt. This one is the seventh touchdown catch by Maddox Crutchfield. That's the PAT, makes it 19 to 7 For Cougars. And oh, how a game can turn. I, you know, we've got Deep almost four Indians minutes one, left Christian here in the half. This, this possession by Shawnee is critical to not give the ball back. Damon Played McCracken. so well up to this point. David McCracken is the kickoff guy. Looks like Jones is deep, and the ball is headed towards Jones. He has to run up and catch it on the run. And it's got some speed, and finally will be brought down as he runs over a Cougar at about the 36-yard line. On the brought down by Kristen Stick. Jones, 153-pound junior, may now become the feature back. Yeah, yeah. Shawnee will take over on their own 35-yard line. They scored on a six-play or six-yard two-play drive following an interception. They have been off the book since then, although they have moved the football. They have moved the football. You know, just a couple, a couple third downs that they haven't been able to convert. Beery picks his way. Picks up about three. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Give him three to the 38-yard line. First hit on the play by 30, Aaron Reichert. You know, if you're Shawnee, too, you want that clock to run. You just don't want to give that ball back. Game of three, second and seven for the Indians. Dre, we did a baseball game over here last spring. Kind of hoping to talk to the uh, superintendent here, Mark Bagley. He was in Houston with the robotics team at the National Robotics Championships for high school. How about that? Now, he could have sent the guidance counselor, but as a superintendent, <laughs> he said, no, 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 I'll, I'll go. But congratulations to that group of yes, no kidding. people last year. Beery runs up the middle in a huge collision. Wow. With Steeman. Five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Wow. Yeah, commend Big Berry for getting up. Five of the Cougars, Gage Steeman. He got hit high. That's a big 11 yard pickup and an even Zola bigger hit. For an Indian first down. That's what you call a major league Man. collision there. Yeah. Shawnee gets a first down at their own 49 yard line. They have a single timeout remaining. Coach Cooper took two in the opening quarter. This is Beery, wants to run left and just lowers his shoulder and picks up a couple. Number five, Chase Well, Perry I mentioned that it might be Christian Jones, the feature running back. Yes. I think it's gonna be the quarterback, <laughs> too. Chase Beery. Brought down by 54, Logan Dotson. Just a very tiny Crutch gain field. of perhaps half a yard. So Small gain on the for play. all intents and purposes, it's second and 10. And it limits them so much because they just you know, it's it's not that they don't have a passing game. They just don't. He doesn't have time to throw. And and I, I will tell you, I don't knock the linemen for Shawnee on that. It's just a great, very good, solid defense. Good linebackers coming all the time. Beery looks and wants to throw. Lost the football. I think Ball one of his on his big guys up front, Champ Keezer, jumped on it. I think. Either We're way, it will stay Indians. with. Number 51, Preston Shawnee, Poplar. but back to their own 45-yard line. 
Loss on the play, third down and 15 for the Indians. They need to get all the way to the 41 now of the Van Wert Cougars. And I think this is a coach record timeout, Jerry. I think timeout. he realizes. That's exactly right. Yeah, he wants, that's his first timeout. And I think he realizes they can get possession with approximately 90 seconds to go and a couple of timeouts left. Good timeout, you know, on the timing of that. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44 Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. You can also find it online at WTLW.com. Well, Jerry, a moment ago we mentioned Mark Bagley as we have a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Mark Bagley's daughter, Maria, was homecoming yes. queen here tonight. And that's a congratulations to Maria and to Mr. and Mrs. Bagley for their daughter. You know, that's a, you know I really commend them because it, it's tough to be, you know, a principal or a superintendent in a school, or, you know, an administrator and your children in that school. I mean, that's always a challenge. I, you know, I lived yeah. it, you know, and told myself I was never going to have my kids in my own school and you know 12 years after they graduated you know right on key just to walk it. past us <laughs> yes Maria Bagley all right so Beery runs Five, the ball Barry into Cougar territory on third back. down Front nice field. run for him but they are going to be short and here is another coach Wrecker Metzger Financial Services timeout Bring up fourth and Timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Timeout Services, Cougars. helping Best you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Jerry, you have posted some things on Twitter today about some good going on. Was that Northwood School District or Northview? It, it was View? the Northern Lakes League. Ah, okay. Uh, Northview, Sylvania Northview, one of those schools, Perrysburg. Perrysburg's actually hosting it. And uh, I will tell you, I, I'm the National Football Foundation, there's a Toledo chapter, it's the Weissert. Uh, found, uh, chapter it's called and that's very big up in the northern up in the Toledo area and they've committed a lot of resources and it's not just one of these one time meetings and off you go and the interesting part they're starting with football players and all league schools have bought into it and you know what they're coming on a Thursday when they've got practice mm. so they're missing practice they're missing practice Day on before a Thursday day. night yeah so very very committed to the Number mental seven, health Parker, in for the person Cougars. and and there's four sessions of it it's not just one there's Sewell to punt again good punt as he kicks it away from Parker and it bounces and bounces and Shawnee's going to get great coverage too really nice special Ball's teams work Indians nice punt there by the Indians but Van Wert with 119 to go and one timeout left we'll get the football back and so it's a, it's a mental health Cougars. type situation yes it is you know and I, I kind of go back to the you know when everything was shut down with COVID and of course I I was front and center dealing with that but you know everybody started using the we've got to have sports back for the mental health part of the kids and I don't disagree mm. But what did people do about it? Sure. You know, we got sports back. You know, I mean, yes. But I think, and you know, you see all the Simone Biles, and you see um, so much attention uh, now. Miller being, from Ohio State. Yes, yes. And he spoke to. He did. And, and they have a very good uh, relationship with Ryan Day. Ryan Day has his own foundation that uh, my son's uh, foundation gives money to. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a big deal. And I'm. I'm really sold on that. It's, I, I think, Mark, for both of us, as we went through a coaching career, and you know, we coached in a different era. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud to be able to, some way or another, be connected to that for the mental health of our kids. So needed. Cougars, 99 yards away from a score, backed up in their own end zone. Parker's going to spin up over the five-yard line. Number seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. Something tells me that that run was a decoy because I think they're going to come out with a launching one here in a minute. Well, the football gets to the five-yard line. Gain of four, second six for the Cougars. Cougars do have one timeout left, as does Shawnee. It's second and about six. And maybe I'm wrong. They're taking their time. No, well, they are. Van Wert will get to football first in half number two. I think that's a big plus for us, Shawnee. That punt win special teams coverage had a big factor there. Parker gets a run back with Pratt and his boys back there. They might have 
tried to do some serious damage. Parker again. He will be knocked down at about Number the nine yard line. Parker on the carry. And that may be the last that's, play. Of let's that. see. They're going to be a couple yards, about two and a half yards short of a first down. Brought down by 15, and, uh, Joel Stern. They do not have to run a game play three, as a play clock and Cougars. game clock. Yeah, I think they're going to let this one run down. Shawnee scored first. They were up 7 to nothing. The last 19 yeah, points have gone the way of the seven. Cougars. Second half action coming up after this. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back at Edgar Stadium here at Van Wert. It's halftime. Van Wert has taken a 19-7 lead. Our scoreboard is made possible by Lodix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Mark Schein and Jerry Snodgrass had a nice visit at halftime. We the sure superintendent did. here at Number 19, Van Wert, Tyler Mr. Kibbett Mark Bagley. The it was interesting to hear him talk about the project. And yes. what was it? About a three-year total project. And yep. Back deep for the Cougars, number seven, Brian Just, uh, Parker, number six. Nate love Phillips. the way they're doing it. They're keeping the the ambiance of their own downtown flavor to it, including the wall. Yeah, we, I, you and I are both fans I love of the that wall. wall yep. Yes, Shawnee kicks off to begin half number two, and that one's going to stay in bounds or not? It does. Yes, it stayed in bounds. Dribble along the sideline over there, and we'll stay in bounds. You know, with all the things going against Squid them in that first half for Shawnee, line. two key injuries and looks like it's going to be spun uh, you know, right around the 15. It'll they're be hanging in. 10 for yeah, the they are. That's, and I'm sure the focus at halftime, you know, was we've got to play solid defense on this series, and you know, probably a few adjustments on the offensive end. Van Wert will start on their own. Looks like 16 yard line. Shawnee scored first. They took an interception and went from the six-yard line in. The Cougs put the last 19 points on the board. This is Aiden Pratt in the backfield. He's got Parker with him and three receivers to his left. This is Braylon Parker, and he gets tripped up. Number seven, Braylon Parker on the carry. Braylon Parker goes down. You can see that tackle was. I believe it was their outside linebacker, I think. Brought down by Akis Richardson. Yeah, Richardson. Richardson, yep. Loss of two, second 12 for the Cougars. Aiden Pratt has thrown for a touchdown, run for a touchdown, and handed off to Parker for a touchdown. Here's Pratt to throw. He's got plenty of room to motor up the middle of the field and skips out of bounds, but I think he keeper. got a first down first. Ran out of bounds by 31. Yep. Got the ball Boom out to in. the... 25-yard line, so it's going to be just short thanks to the loss on first down. It's third and about one. Pratt will hand off to Parker again, and he gets snowed under right about that first down Number marker. Seven, Parker on the carry. Well, that interior line is really strengthened up Carter on a couple Faye. of those inside runs. Akis, Akis Richardson, I mentioned earlier, was a linebacker. He's a nose guard for them. Right, then Parker a little slow getting up, and he got a no, no gain, gain that fourth time. Four so it's fourth Cougars. and one, and decision time for Coach Keith Recker right away. He's talking to his assistants and yells punt. About 15 on the play clock, so they're going to have to snap it up a little bit. The punter is Steeman. He averages 35.6, and Shawnee is trying to hurry a couple guys back, including... Their quarterback, Chase Beery, here's the punt. And the ball takes a high hop and hopping down and falling on top of it very quickly is five, Keegan Keith Wilson. On the punt. Wilson well, was very lucky to get that. He snagged that in with his one hand after, by 10, after he touched Wilson it. Of the Indians. Well, Jerry, Shawnee did just what they yes, wanted to do. Yes, they did. Good kickoff, good coverage, three and out, and now they will get the football. Pretty decent field position. They have lost two key players. Well, first it was Jordan, first uh, Julian Mac Makeley. But then their prime running back, Jordan Banks, went down as well. And they're going to get the football on their own 36-yard line. And obviously, Beery has done the 
bulk of the running so far, but they're going to have to find something else. Zach Newton's in the backfield along with him, and we're going to run off left tackle, and Beery just pushes the pile and pushes the pot. That's a nice run on yeah, first down. Chase but Barry maybe not. Keeper. Gets the ball to the 42-yard line. That's a six-yard pickup on first down. First in on the play by 15, Aiden Pratt. Really good job by the offensive five, line that time the for Sean E. I've seen Sean E. on, or excuse me, Van Wert on tape several times this year. How many quarterbacks are playing defensive line? Yes. <laughs> Aiden Pratt, 6'5", 205. Here's Beard's going to run the other side this time. And he got close to the first down marker at the 45. I think he's a little short. Barry on the keeper. So now the Indians yeah. facing a Brought third down. down. Seven, Parker and two, Carson Smith. Of course, third. Aiden Pratt is also an excellent basketball player. Yes, he third is. One for the Indians. Third and a long one, Shawnee. You know, they were talking. I saw something today about Aaron Judge, you know, and how, you know, three-sport athlete. You know, obviously, but you know, and it's true. Not every kid can play three sports. Not every kid is talented enough. But boy, if you can, please do it. Beery looks, 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 and dives forward. I think he got the first yep. down. Number five. Well, my Barry comment to that always is, Jerry, you get four years Brought in that high school. You might as well enjoy them. And you know, I don't care whether it's football, basketball, the band, choir. Yep. Find ways to enjoy. I. You know, you and I can both say this as former coaches, but. You know, we, we see our former players and, you know, the, the joy and the fun. They, you know, they're all undefeated now, right. you know, of course. But, I mean, they talk about, you know, the good days and they remember so many things. Shawnee first down from their own 48-yard line. And, again, Beery runs. He's got plenty of room to run this time. Big gain this time into Cougar territory. They found something with Chase Beery. Beery on the keeper. He's getting up very yeah. slow. I think he got the wind knocked out of him. Down. They've got some things going with their offensive line. 51 is Preston Copper, 54. Champ Keezer, 57. He's hurt. Alton Clayton, 50. Cole Marshall, 63. Shandon Sewell to the 37-yard line. He's going to pick his way again and lean forward again. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Oh, they pulled Cole Marshall out there to the left. And did a great job. Brought down by 53. Got Jacob out there Pierce. in front of Beery and cleared the path. It's a four-yard four, pickup to the 33. The this drive began back on the Indian 36-yard line. It has been a steady five-play drive by, with the running of Chase Beery. 5'11", 182-pound senior. Time he's going to hand off and unable to get going that time was Christian Number Jones. One, Christian Jones on the carry. He's going to lose a Broke yard back to the 34 the yard line. 53, right. Jacob Pierce. Well, you look at, you know, the, again, I think uh, Jones Long was in on that too. For the Indians. Beery over to the sideline to get the play call from Coach Cooper. Third and about seven. And they're going to send trips right. And now they're going to flop a couple guys over. Here's Beery to throw. Quick out. That's caught. Dancing around, trying oh, to make yards. Wow. Keegan Wilson. Wilson up the sideline. And he's going to get knocked out of bounds. Great pass and run by Keegan Everybody. Wilson. What a nice move by Wilson yes, once sir. he caught the ball. He was, he was tackled. You know, he was staring somebody down after about a half yard, two yard gain, and boy, made a nice it, cut. It is a 29 yard pickup to the five. Shawnee knocking on the door. Opening half drive for them that began back on their own 36 yard line about four minutes ago. Here's Beery. Cuts inside, dives to the end zone, and Chase Beery is in. Number five, Chase Beery on the keeper. Good for the Indian touchdown. A Haig towing touchdown. Haig towing provides fast towing and roadside assistance. Lockouts, flat tires, cars and ditches, or dead batteries. You can depend on Haig towing 24-7. 
Very did, impressive. Did anybody carry the ball besides Berry? On uh, that one run one by run. Uh, number one, Christian Jones, that yeah, lost a right. yard. And then the completion, of course, to Wilson. Right. Here's the PAT attempt. This is a Lee Kinsel Sales and Service PAT attempt. This will be Tyler Kimmett. Ball is up. And that is good by a long range. Shawnee scores first in the second half, just like it did in the first half. They now trail by five. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Following a Lee Kinsel extra point, Lee Kinsel on Irving Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Following that extra point, Number Shawnee seven, Brian, trails Parker, by five. How about that, Jerry? Wow, Cougars? just yeah. exactly what they needed coming out. Six. You know, able to hold Van Wert yep. and then turn a punt into a long drive and score. They're right back in it. 64 yards, eight plays, 358 off the clock. Shawnee now trails by five. That ball's punched down the field. Picked up by one of the up guys and... Pretty good run, and late hit or not, I'm not sure it should have been. The football had been picked up by Number eight, Keldon Bill. Bill on the return. Keldon Bill. Brought down by three, Joey Spiker. Gets a pretty good no call in my book. Yeah, it was. You know, he, he was, was going, going yeah. down, and he was already launched, had already Balls launched the himself. Yard line. But good First field position for the Cougars. for the Cougars as they get the ball on their own 43-yard line. 6.48 to Fans, go. Here's the winning number for tonight's 50-50. Ticket 013751. 013 Yeah, you can't overestimate the, the importance of a kicking game, too. You know, Shawnee was such a great punter. You know, with a kickoff, has put him in a tough position. Brad read that one perfectly, kept it himself, dances over midfield. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. It's a good thing, too, because Parker got whacked in the backfield. Yes, he did. Brought down by six. Gary that was Blumey. a good read by Pratt, though. It was. Yeah. Great yeah. read by Pratt. For the first, uh, first down to the Shawnee 46-yard line. And did they get him to jump? They did. Penalty marker on the play. I think that's a big thing for Van Wert is, you know, a little bit of a hurry up. And I think they've played their Ball best offensively the when they've been that way. Five-yard penalty, first and five for the Cougars. Again, you kind of go back to that, you know, trying to control the game a little bit more if you're Shawnee, and boy, that just that quick tempo takes them away from that. Trips left, single receiver, trips right, single receiver left. Here comes Crutchfield in motion, and Pratt will look to throw. Throw, he's being trapped, and he's going to go down the backfield. Sack, chuck that Looking one up Pratt, to Garrett Looney. Six, Garrett Looney. That was some great coverage, too, by Shawnee. I think he was expecting... You know, to find, I think it was, was it Crutchfield? Yeah, yeah, I think he expected to find him wide open down there, and he didn't. Ends up being just a two-yard loss. Wyatt Morgan was on the yeah, coverage actually, deep. It's a seven-yard loss. I can't read my own play sheet. Back to the 48-yard line. It is second at about 12. Parker got the edge. Parker will get knocked down at the 41-yard line. Parker on the carry. Brought down by 63, Shannon Sewell. Gets seven of those yards Morgan. back. It'll be third and about five. Gain of eight on the play, third and four for the Cougars. You know, I haven't mentioned Wyatt Morgan's name that much, an outside linebacker. He's 5'8", but, uh, excuse me, no, I'm sorry, he's six foot, but, you know, he's done a great job out there, coverage and tackling. Number 15, About good Pratt coverage. The he had Pratt pretty well bottled up that time. He got two yards to the 39, nine, and Morgan. once again, Van Wert, He's in a fourth down situation. Two, fourth and one for the Cougars. Actually, the ball's down to the 38-yard line. Well, they're definitely going yeah. for it. They need to get inside the 37 for a first down. Here's Pratt. And he's going to lean forward and gets knocked down. I don't know whether he got there or not. I'm not sure. A couple of big hits. Shawnee yeah. doesn't yeah. think so. Garrett Looney was there on the bottom of the pile also. Was Wyatt Morgan, Wyatt Morgan, and we're going to measure this one. That was a big hit, yes, too. Yes, it was. The football is at about the 37. They need to get inside the 37. And Stop clock for a measurement. 
Jerry is a guy who was on a chain crew a long time ago in Bellevue. They always measure what's on the far side of the field. Oh, yeah, yeah of you, course. you got to run all the way across. They you know, too, I, I read once, too, about all the electronics, all the things that we have. Yeah. We still rely on that human 10-foot uh, chain or 10-yard chain. I think it's a great thing. I, I do, too. I, I, I do, too. I like it. And I tell you I what, for a young guy who wanted to be a high school basketball coach, to be on the visiting sideline five times a year, Watch yeah. how coaches handle themselves or people. And it is a first down. After the measurement, the result of the play is good for a Cougar. Well, that was close. Yes, it was. And that's a big first down for Van Wert. To the 37 yard line on a fourth down. Van Wert keeps possession. And in an opening half that seemed to drag a bit, this quarter is kind of evaporating pretty quickly. Trips right, two receivers left. Pratt alone in the backfield. And that pass is going to be caught as he finds Nate Phillips on the so sideline. Pratt's pass complete to six, Nate Phillips. You know that, that size and strength difference you really see, you know, receivers for Van Wert, DBs for, uh, it for another Cougar. Sean E. It just, they, they just can't bring them down once they catch. To the 25-yard line, that was a 12-yard pickup. Shawnee showing blitz and yeah, I think he got him to jump. jump off side. No, I got one of the Cougars moved. Penalty goes against the Cougars for false start. Five yard penalty, first and fifteen. Take it back five to the thirty. Four thirty-four to go here in the quarter. First and fifteen. Going to go trips right again and two receivers to Pratt's left. Pratt runs up the middle. Got about three that time. Number 15, Aiden Pratt on the keeper. Brought down by six, Garrett Looney. Good three-yard pick up to the 27. Gain of two, second and 13. You can really Cougars. see that happening, Spread, spreading the defense out like that, opening up, just let Pratt, you know, decide where to go. This time he's got Brylon Parker in the backfield along with him. And now he's going to go in motion to make it a trip set. Pratt looks, looks, throws it over the middle of the field, and he threw a little bit long. It's going to go incomplete in the end zone. 15, Pratt's and again, great coverage, great coverage by Sean E. Defended by nine, Wyatt Morgan. Third and 13 for the Cougars. And third down, long, tw long 12 as the ball's put back on the 27-yard line. You know, I talk about, we both talked about how great that uh, wall is down yeah. there, but it's also just about a yard at the end of the end zone. And that's, uh, you could just see that's a scary thing. Here's Pratt. Going to roll right, being chased. A little screen pass set up, and it's going to go incomplete. Boy, and give, you know, Number give 15, Carter Faye. Pass intended for 11, Maddox Crutchfield's incomplete. A lot of credit on that for the pressure he put on Pratt. 63, Shannon Sewell. Well, the 10th play of this drive will be a fourth down at about 12. From the Indian 27-yard line. Again, spread out, same formation as before. Converted on fourth down last time, but it was a lot shorter than this one. Here's Pratt to throw, being chased. Makes the first guy miss. He's got a lot of room out here. And throws it towards the end zone. Is it caught? Juggling catch in the end zone by Connor Campbell. Pass complete to number three, Connor Campbell. Good for the Cougar touchdown. Boy, that's where you know, Pratt is so dangerous. I thought he had a lot of room to run. I was I looking too. for him to tuck it and go, and he saw a receiver in the end zone. He had to bobble it for a second, but reeled it in. Well, you, you know, you see that so often, you know, rolling out, he's under pressure, looks like he's going to run, defensive backs commit, and that leaves a receiver wide open in the end zone. A Hague towing touchdown leads to a Lee Kinsel extra point attempt. And we got a hold up for a second. Let's see what's going on with this one. That was a 10 play drive. Might have been an injury or something that they made somebody come off. 57 yards. 
Three minutes and 15 seconds went off the clock. And here's our PAT attempt. It's 25, looking at 26 for the Cougars. If McCracken can make this one. Which hit a house, I think. <laughs> it is good. McCracken makes the PAT attempt, and the Cougars lead 26-14. You're watching High School Football WOSN. Aiden Pratt, second touchdown pass of the day, plus the McCracken PAT attempt with 3.39 to go here in quarter number three. It's 26 for the Cougars and 14 for the Indians. That was a 10-play, 57-yard drive. Twice they converted on fourth down. The second time punched it in for a score from 27 yards out. And that's 21 touchdowns on the year for passing touchdowns on the year for Aiden Pratt. And we are in week number seven. And judging how the Cougars are stacking up for the playoffs, this could be not just a 10-game season, right. but multiple-game season. Here's the kickoff. Running up to snag it was Jones. And the Jones then gets snagged before he can get to the 30-yard line. You know, you mentioned about you know, Christian Jones playoffs. On the return. And, you know, most teams anymore, you almost, figure, you, on the play by you, four, you almost have Luke to Wessel. figure you're playing for an 11-game schedule. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, even if you're struggling right now mid-year, you know, and that's, you know, that, trying to keep your kids focused. And, hey, wait a minute. The season, spot the season's probably not going to be over after 10. Indians. Well, Shawnee, you know, they've got Ottawa, Glendorf, Kenton, and Elida left on their schedule. So, you know, although things are not going well for them right now, you know, they get four wins, maybe five, depending on what happens tonight. Exactly. And they can get in. Here's Beery. Look out. Chase Beery, first down yardage and more. He has been uh, running very, very well behind a good offensive line here in the second half. He will get a first down, a 12-yard pickup to the 40. And again, that line's doing a solid job, yeah. especially that off tackle, you know, outside on the left side. Lost a couple of guys to injury tonight. Here's Barry again. This time he looks, gets a block, and finally gets run down from behind by Number Steeman. Five, Barry on the keeper. Brought down by five. Gabe I think Steeman. Barry's going to be one tired person tonight. Uh, gain of seven, after second that game. three for the Indians. But I also think Coach Cooper has found something here. Yes. His offensive line is blocking well for his quarterback. Got a good block from White out that time. Newton has done a good job from his blocking back position. Jones is in the backfield along with Beery. This is Beery. And not much this time. Back he lost a yard. Number five, Chase Berry brought down on the play by 53, Jacob Furst. Lost a yard. It'll make it third and four. Loss of two, third and four. Not only does uh, Beery get to run the offense, he gets to jog over between plays and talk <laughs> yeah, to Coach Cooper. I noticed that several <laughs> times. Not every time, but uh, often he does. Here comes Chase Beery back into the backfield. Down to 10 on the play clock. Chase Beery will go left. And cuts and dives wow. forward, but not a first down this time. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. He's going to be slow yeah, getting he's up. going to be he slow getting up. He did. He got back to about the 46, which no uh, was a no four gain for him. It's fourth and four. And Chase Berry is over lobbying to Coach Cooper to go for it. And I think he talked him he into it. He might have talked him into it. They had a pretty interesting conversation, he along with Keegan Wilson over there talking with Coach Cooper, and they are from their own 46-yard line. Fourth and four. Cougars made a first down on two fourth downs. The last possession to throw. Beery looks, throws, and he throws it high. Again, that pass on the well, run, that's, that's tough. For one. That's Christian really Jones tough. Is incomplete. So with 1.13 to go, go here four, in Luke quarter Russell. number three, turn it over on Indians are going to turn it over in their, their own territory. Shawnee will take over on just the 46-yard line of the, Cougar, of the Indians. 
pretty good gamble. Yes, it was. You know, you're you're down 12. You scored the last time, and you don't. I like the confidence, you know, even from yeah. Chase Beery, and you know, you mentioned that Wilson was over there talking him into it too. But you know, that's confidence. You know. Well, uh, Coach Cooper was my neighbor for a long, long time. High school football players do not talk Coach Cooper into things. Yeah, that's so, true. I think he wanted that to do true. that. I do know that. That was his plan anyway. But it was it was interesting the conversation the group had over there. All right, Brylan Parker in the backfield with Aiden Pratt. This will be Parker. Nope, faked it to him and kept it. Pratt dives forward. You know, again, you take away those two fourth downs, and especially the one that resulted in the touchdown. And, you know, Shawnee's defense has, has stood up well. I know, giving up 26 points, it doesn't seem like it, but just a couple breakdowns on that. We talked about that so close. Three-yard pickup, second and seven. Pratt to throw and knock down. I think that was number 20 got a hand yes. on it, which would be Carter Fay. Carter's listed at 6'5", and he went up and got that one. He was all of it. Third and seven for the Cougars. Third and seven. Big defensive end, Carter Fay. 6'5", 218 for Carter. And we're going to get flags and a sack. There's Carter Fay again. Also back there was Garrett well, Looney. And about three flags for a hold. Garrett Looney and 20, Carter Fay. The sack takes the football Coming back the into line. Cougar territory anyway. Let's see what Coach Cooper chooses to do. I would think... And it is, yeah, it is declined. The Cougars for holding. The Indians so decline the, the penalty. Play will result. That'll bring up fourth down and 12 for the Cougars. Well, they got the football down on the 48 yeah, yard line. I, I thought it was back a little so farther. Did I. But either way, it's going to be a punt. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. <laughs> yeah. Number five, Gage Steeman in the Steeman punt. is the punter. Shawnee will hold, it appears, anyway. And here's the punt, and that's a good one. And it's going to hit. Is it going to check up? It did not. It got into the end zone. Good effort. It ends up in the end zone for a touchback. But with 26 seconds Ball left to go in this quarter, for the Shawnee will take over. A defense held that time. They forced two punts now here in the second half, and they will get the ball with 26 seconds to go. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. You can search the WSN app in stores, in the App Store, or the Android Play Store. 26-14 Cougars. Chase Beery, a little in the back, there's man in motion. And Beery will keep it. And not much room to run this time for Beery. Number five, Chase Beery on the keeper. I think you can pretty much just put that on, First on know, the play repeat on the Logan tape. Is, yeah. You know, because he's one, probably the last player of the, the quarter. Indians. That appears to be the final play here in quarter number three. Each team puts seven on the board in a quarter. As we head to the fourth, it'll be... Van Wert 26 and Shawnee 14. You're watching High School Football WOSN. Our scoreboard is made possible by Loudex Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert or online at loudex.com. Mark Shine and Jerry Snodgrass. As we go to quarter four, Shawnee facing a second and nine from their own 21-yard line. This will be Chase Beery rolling right, rolling, rolling, and dumps it off and just throws it away. Well, you know, we said during that break, too, that, you know, Chase Beery starting to wear Come down a little Beery's bit. Pass thrown out of bounds. Pressure on the play. I mean, how could he Max not be? Yeah. I mean, just it's not just Third the running that Indians. he's been doing, but he's been getting hit and hit hard. I've got him for 11 carries here in the second half. 
And of course, he's uh, thrown a couple balls, and as you said, he's uh, being chased around some. And has had some big hits. In the backfield along with him is Christian Jones, who wears number one. Third down. Beery, quick out. Caught. And trying to get some room on the far side of the field is Keegan Wilson. Five, Not much there. Pass complete to 10, Keegan Wilson. To the 25. Run It'll be fourth and five. Oh, this four, is where they need five. Sewell to have a great punt. And he has done that a couple days at times today. Shannon Sewell. Came in as the second ranked punter in the Western Buckeye Sanders League. The punt. Number seven, Brylan Parker. Parker and, and Crutchfield, Crutchfield are back near Cubs. midfield, just over it. The flag has gone pretty much limp here in the second half. High snap, but he gets it down, and there's our punt. That is a pretty good punt. Crutchfield with a fair cut at his own 45 yard line. Fair and still, though, 11, really good field position for them at the 45 46. 11.06 to go in our football game. Gave you the remaining football games for Shawnee, OG Kenton, and at Elida. The Antwerp Cougars are at Kenton next week. Then they have Elida and Bath Balls at the 45 yard line, first to wrap the up Cougars. their season. Wrap up their regular season would be the proper way to say it, yeah. I believe, Jerry. This is such a critical part of the season, you know, is, where, yeah. you know, teams that are, you know, one and two wins, and, you know, you've got to keep their attention. You've got to remember they're high school kids. You know, many of them play other sports. Quick out. Caught out here on the sideline and trying to dance up the sideline was Gunter. He got a good block from Parker. Ran out of bounds by nine, Wyatt Morgan. Result play is good for a Cougar. And the football goes to the 43 of Shawnee. First Gunter, down. another one of those senior wide receivers. Here's a, Pratt kept that one again as he read that play properly. Number 15, eight, well, he read it better keeper. than I did because I thought he handed it off. He's, he's I thought so a couple of times yes. this evening that he's uh, made the handoff. Instead, he sticks three, it in seven Parker's the belly and then pulls it out and takes it himself. Picked up three that time. It's second and seven. Pratt to throw, throws it out. It's caught on the far side of the field and then going down on the far side of the field. I think that's Phillips. Yes, Number it 15, is. Pratt's pass complete kind of six, shows Aiden you, Phillips. too, his athletic ability and strength, strength 11, of his arm. That was a long pass Aiden across. Six, third and one for the Cougars. To the 34-yard line. It's third and one. This formation used to drive my good friend and good partner, Mark Miller, nuts. Okay, when people would say it's an empty backfield, he would go, no, it's not the quarterback. <laughs> he, of all people, would <laughs> say that. Yeah, it, quick shovel pass ahead to Crutchfield, and that will be a first down. 15 8 Kratz pass complete to 11, Maddox Crutchfield. Crutchfield gets to the 30. That's a great Brought play when you've got, you know, I you've got Richardson. a Crutchfield that's strong enough, a lot of traffic in there when that ball shoveled forward. First down for the Shawnee 30. Throwing it over the middle of the field. He missed long as he was trying to find Connor Campbell Number over the middle of the field. Pass intended for three. Connor you know, but other than the one or two, and especially on that one defended on the rollout, on that fourth down, Second defensive for backs for Shawnee have played a good game. I really believe that. Second and ten. Shawnee. It's a Cougar offense that uh, came into the night average of 43.7 points per game. 26 now, and Pratt slips as he was being pressured by Joey Spiker. Number 15, Aiden Pratt, taken down on the play by number and three, Joey Spiker. Lost a couple, back to the 32-yard line. Loss of two, third and 12 for the Cougars. Third and 12. Everybody taking a look over here. See what Coach Wrecker's staff comes up with. Play clock approaching 10. Here's Pratt's going to roll out. And he looks and throws. It's caught right on the sideline. Looking to see who caught it right in front of our. Looks like he got number 10, Gunter. Pass complete to number 10, Garrett Gunter. 
And that will be a first down. He snapped that ball out there pretty yes, well. Yes, he did, pretty on much. the run. Yes, he did, to the 18-yard line. Right on the sideline. Picked up 14, needed 12, got 14. First down to the 18-yard line. And the running back slipped, and that meant that Pratt had nobody to hand it off to. It gets tackled by Joey Spiker. 15, Aiden Pratt sacked on the play by three. Joey, Joey Spiker's Spiker. done a good job, too. Has had a good football game. Loss of two, second and 12 for the Cougars. Three-yard loss. And I think we're going to have a bit of an injury situation as Shannon Sewell got yeah. up a little bit slow. Not only has he played offense and defense on the line, but he's also been their punter tonight. And that would be a big loss in multiple ways as he heads to the sideline. Going to give him time to get over there. This will be the ninth play of the drive coming up that began back on their own 45-yard line. Trips left, two receivers right. Pratt looks to be caught, and a nice tackle on the far side of the field. That was uh, Keegan Wilson. And you know, you know, part of that, part of that was because of the hand in his face on that. And I think it was Carter Fay again Carter that had his hand up. It was. And made uh, Pratt just kind of adjust a little bit and a little slower uh, getting the ball out there than he wanted to do. Actually lost a yard back to the 22-yard line. It's uh, third down. They needed to get to the eight. So they're looking at about 14 yards here. It's time they go bunch formation to the left. Here's a man in motion, Parker. Low snap this time. Good blocking up front, and Pratt looks and snaps it. It's caught. Turning ahead for the end zone and diving for the end zone is Phillips. Looking to see if he got there. I think he's out on the yeah. back of one. Number 15, Aiden Pratt's pass complete to number six, Nate Phillips. So Phillips got it down about to about the one. Noonan. Uh, quite he's honestly, the way the there. situations arised here, we couldn't see right in the corner because of how the stands are set up here, but. Down to the one-yard line. See if Parker gets his second rushing touchdown of the night. Nope. Pratt's going to lean forward and gets knocked down before he can get there. Boy, he got hit. He got snowed he got under. hit hard. Hey, guess who got him? Brought Joey Spiker. Six, yeah. Looney, Looney was in there as well. Morgan, second I know we've said this Lockers. time and time again, yeah. but they're just so, so close. You know, the couple big plays like that that roll out by uh, Pratt. Lost a yard, back to the two at second down. Cougars trying to punch it in and add to the score. Pratt will hand off, and they got him in the backfield. This is number six with a tackle this time, Looney. Number seven, Brylin Parker on the carry. Also back there was Zach Brought Noonan. Down by six, Garrett Looney, and 11, Ben Bullock. And, that, well, the they've run two plays. They've lost a total of four yeah. yards. Back to the five-yard line they go. This drive began at 11.06, so it's approaching a five-minute drive here. We're going to see, I think, Pratt do that little read again. and oh, roll Rolls, again. rolls, rolls, look, snap, throw. Yes. And he missed him in the end zone. It'll fall incomplete, so we'll go to fourth down from the five. Pass intended for three, Connor Campbell falls incomplete. Defended by 11, Ben Bullock. Roll to Four his left, to snap yeah. throw to his left in the corner, and I think we might get a, a field goal attempt, I think. But McCracken is the field goal guy. He has made one of two this season. His long is 23 yards, and this is going to be a 22-yarder. And from the right hash. The holder is Parker, Brylin Parker. And Pratt's the center. A long snapper, I should say. And the kick is up, and it is good. 22-yard field goal. McCracken makes it 29-14. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Football on WOSN.
TV44 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and WSS is a part of that celebration. Would you donate $40 to thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region? Donate online or call WTLW.com, 419-339-4444. 40 years, Mark. 40 years. I, that's hard to believe, you know, and all the great things through the years. Wow. There is a wonderful video out called Station Identification that is absolutely outstanding, explaining the history of that, that station. How they took a airport hangar yes. in a cornfield and made it into a Christian television station and all the things that have occurred with that. Shawnee trails by two scores. They trail by 15. They got the football back on their own. It's like 27-yard line. Balls at the 27-yard line, first they and have, 10 for the Indians. They've given up 27 points per game on the year. They've given up 29 to a high-powered offense this evening. See if they can put more than 14 up themselves right here. I'm looking to see if Shannon Stewart's back in the game, and I think Shannon is playing left tackle. Yep. Here's Barry right up the middle this time, and uh, gets a couple. Number five, Chase Barry on the carry. Chase Barry picks up two. To the 29-yard line. Brought down by 22, yep. Aaron Dowdy. Actually, to give him three to the 30. Yeah, that time uh, Van Wert Cougars were off the line the on the snap of the ball so quick. A couple blocks missed just because of the quickness. Good to see Shandon back in the football game. Thought he was holding his hamstring when he went out of the game. Barry's going to roll right and look and look and look and keep it. And he gets back to the 30 again. Not, nobody throw Number the football, too. Third and seven Indians. Ran out of bounds by 55. Jackson Got out of bounds on the far side of the field. That will stop the clock at 5.23 to go. Actually, he lost a yard, didn't he? Lost well, one on the play. Third and eight. Back to the, the 29. So it is third and eight. Yeah, it puts him now, you know, in a tough situation of passing down, and that's not been their strength throughout the night. Coming to the lower part of your screen is Michael Garlock. And fake the counter play. Beery's trying to get the edge, and he gets knocked down. Good tackle out here five, by Reese Crew. Brought down by number 28, Reese Crew. Great speed out of that yeah. defensive back position to read that and get yeah. out. Here's Chase Beery right in front of the Cougar bench, and he is and down, seven. and they're asking the trainer to come across. We're going to take a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Football on WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Chase Berry went off the field under his own power. It looks like about as much as a, a fatigue as anything, Jerry. I think a tired was. young man headed to the sideline and took a pretty good shot, Number too. Seven, Parker and 11, Maddox Shandon Sewell, Sewell will Cougars. punt. He's had a good night in that respect. It's a low snap. He gets up, and if his hamstring hurts, he can still kick the football. Crutchfield lets it go out of bounds. And Van Wert will take over with 4.49 to go in this one. The Cougars up 15. Well, that's another thing with Beery. You know, they, they need to keep him healthy the rest of the year. You know, they got three games coming up that are all winnable. They need to keep him healthy. Punt goes out of bounds right around the well, 35-yard We talked about that line, schedule that the the they've got left. O.G. Kenton and Elida, I, uh, I believe, and i got to look at my schedule to be sure and confirm it, but I believe the Shawnee Elida football game, week 10, is a WOSM telecast. My rapidly fading memory is correct, <laughs> it is anyway. That would be a good rivalry. Well, you know, that could also be season. very you know, important playoff. for yeah. playoff, you know, yes, because with 16 teams, I mean, Parker cuts inside and dances around. Number seven, Brian and, Parker, uh, carry. That drive started at the Brought down by six 35, and all that movement got him about a yard. You Get know, board, if you're Van Wert tonight, you're going to look at this, and you're going to watch game tape afterwards, and you're going to wonder, you know, how'd they stop us so many times? But a couple of those big plays have just resulted in 29 points. 
I, you know, I just like there, you know, what a loss or no gain, but many of those. There's Pratt to throw, lobs over the middle. He's got Crutchfield, he just missed him. Number 15, you know, I, I guess that it's kind of indicative of what we think when we think of, of the, the Cougars this year. They've got 29 on the board, and we're going, gee, they haven't scored very well tonight. <laughs> Most teams would oh, love to true. have 29 yes. on a yeah. Friday night. And it's just that they have become so efficient offensively that uh, in comparison, I guess, right. that, uh, uh, but it's still been a very good night for them. Here's uh, And that's the thing. Shawnee's made them work for those 29 points. Third and nine. Blitz coming off the edge. He gets it out. Caught. This is Gunter, and Gunter's headed up the sideline. And away he goes. He gets tackled from behind, but a good run Number by 10, Garrett Matt, Gunter. Number 10, Garrett and you know, Gunter. just like that with Gunter, you know, how, how many Brandon times play by six, Garrett have they Rudy. just had plays where he, he was stopped? Yeah. He was stopped for what, a three, four yard gain and just tackle slid off of him. That's a 39 yard pickup for Garrett on the completion from Pratt. Quick out. Crutchfield catches this one, gets a block from Gunter. And he's going to go down after a short gain of about five. You now, Gunter came into this game with 431 right yards 12, receiving Steven. on the year and, you know, almost five, 14 second, yards a catch. Yeah. Here's Pratt. Three and a half to go in this one. And Pratt's going to roll and look and look, and it's blocked, knocked down. Guess who? Yeah. 6'5", Carter Fay knocked that one down. For 15, Aiden Kratz pass batted down at the line of scrimmage by number 20, Carter Fay. Third and five from the 20. Third and five for the Cougars. And I think we just got to cramp up. Yeah. It looks like uh, Fay went down and uh, that had the look of a cramp the way yes, he went, he he, went he, down. He, after he hit, uh, knocked that pass down, he was fine, and all of a sudden he cramped up. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate Here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. All you got to do is visit WTLW.com. Well, Jerry, you did soccer last night. Uh, I know we're getting to that point where everybody starts thinking tournament, soccer, volleyball, and all those types of yeah, things. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, gee, we had Otto Glendorf and Shawnee, and Otto Glendorf is good. He's yeah, very senior-dominated, a great goalkeeper, a uh, couple players on that team that are just – they're machines. <laughs> Never yeah. run out of energy, and they're a very, very difficult team to beat. For soccer this week, uh, I believe it is Kenton and I think Shawnee Boys this week, I think, with a huge matchup in the Western Buckeye League. Got volleyball Saturday that will air Sunday night. It's the Crestview Night Invitational over there tomorrow with Chris Luthold. Talk about Kenton and uh, Shawnee and Boys, and Kenton has really done a very good job over the last couple of years. There's Brylan Parker cuts back inside. He dives down forward. Number seven, Brylan Parker on the carry. Looks like a fourth down. Yep. Down down he needed to get to the 15. He is just short of that. Gain of four, fourth and one for the Cougars. And let's see now what uh, Coach Keith Recker comes up with. They're going to go for it. Pratt and Parker in the backfield. And this is going to be a pitch to Parker and... I think he fell forward enough to get it. Boy, he got it, but not by much. Number seven, Brylan Parker on the carry. They've got so many weapons. You're just not sure yeah. who's going to get the football next. Yep. And that's what makes them so Brought tough to defend. Six, Garrett Looney. Yeah. You can stop them. You Cougar. can stop them. You can stop them, and then just somebody else comes. He got two. This is Parker with a quick catch, and Parker's heads for the end zone. And he's there. 14-yard touchdown pass. The third of the evening for Aiden Pratt, the second score for Parker as he had a running touchdown earlier. So Van Wert with 2.20 to go is going to put this one away. That's a Haig towing touchdown. Haig towing provides fast towing and roadside assistance. Lockout, flat tires, cars and ditches or dead batteries. You can depend on Haig towing 24-7. Here's McCracken for the PAT. And he gets it down, does Parker. The kick is up. It is good. 
Extra points tonight are provided for you by Extra Lee Kinsel and Irving Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. The Cougars go up 22. It's 36-14 with 2.20 to go. You're watching high school football on WOSN. We're back at Edgar Stadium here in Van Wert. Van Wert Cougars have scored the last 17 points of the football game and have taken a 36-14 lead over Shawnee. You know, Mark, 36-14, it's been a good ball game. It has it's been, been a very, a very good, good ball yes, game. Yes, it has. Very competitive game. Kraken's kickoff heads high and down the field to Christian Jones. And Jones has got a lane, and they finally get him just over the 30. Number one, Christian Jones on the return. Brought down on the play by number three, Colin A little Campbell. slow getting up was Colin Haggerty. Kind of limps to the sidelines. Collins a junior, goes 6'1", 180. announcement about homecoming. We'd like to give a little shout out to, to Lodix Jewelry. 31-yard line. For donating to the crowd tonight, so thank you, Lodix and the Shawnee Lickley family. Cougars, or Shawnee Indians. With 2.12 to go and all their timeouts remaining. And as I expected, Chase Berry's still in the game. He is. He's got Zach Noonan beside him. I think you, you said it well. I don't think it was so much of an injury before. It was just fatigue. He's going to roll right and tuck it and throw. He's got a guy open downfield. It's caught. I believe that is number 10, Wilson, on the far side of the field. Let's, five, uh, Chase Berry's pass complete to 10, Keegan Wilson. Great pass that time. Yeah, that was Barry. a very good pass. Best Steven. throw of the evening, perhaps. Play is good for an Indians first down. To the 49. Cougars are starting to bring a few guys in. 21-yard pickup, 22-yard pickup to the 49. I see J Javon Smith he comes into the game for the Cougars. Here's Berry with a run. Gets to the 45-yard line. Number five, Chase Berry on the keeper. Brought down by 20, yeah. Keaton Sutton. Back to the line Game of scrimmage four, goes six for the Shawnee. They're working on a little hurry-up stuff right now. 90 seconds to go. Beery to throw. Snaps this one out. Does he catch it on the sidelines? Nope, got it out of bounds. He tried to find Wilson on this side of the field, but it goes incomplete. Wilson's out of bounds. Not much room on the sideline here. I, I couldn't see his feet to see where they got it down or not, but the official said he did not. Another good pass, though, that time by Beery. I think he's he might be coming out of the game. He looks like he's holding yeah. his right arm. I think he's just going to head over and say, Coach Cooper, what do you want me to run this time? Yeah, I guess you're right. Nope, you're right. Coach Cooper's, well, no, he just sent another wide out into the game is what he did. He brings in uh, number 13, which is uh, Michael Garlock. I'm going to have to hurry to get this off now yeah. in four seconds. Play clock is down, and they just do. Here's Barry going to roll right. Looks, 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 and throws. One-handed wow, snag on grab. the far side by Wilson, but he was out of bounds. Oh. You're right. He went up and got that one. Chase pass intended for 10. Keegan Wilson's incomplete out of bounds. I know we're down to about the last minute, but Beery's become very comfortable in that rollout. He's replacing the quarterback who was injured back early in the season, Dominic Lynch, and he's done a nice job this season. Yes, evening. he has. It's fourth down. Here's Beery back in. They need about seven, a lengthy six anyway, here on fourth down. To get to about the 39-yard line. Chase Beery will roll right again. And looks and looks and looks and throws it over the middle of the field and a big I tackle. Think we're going to see a flag on that one. Yeah, Carson Smith went up and got the receiver, the five, and they're going to call it legally done. So it will go incomplete. By two, Carson Smith. And Van Wert will hold with 61 seconds to go. And this one, Van Wert will take over. There's a flag after the play, I think. Penalty marker on the play. I'm guessing somebody probably wasn't real happy with that call, yeah. And unsportsmanlike conduct will go against Shawnee. And I think you're right. Yeah. I think somebody thought maybe there should have been Penalties on sportsmanlike conduct. Something called on that one. It was just a bang, bang play. And you, you know. Official saw it. 
Ball spot at the 40 yard line, first and 10 for the Cougars. So the ball will go all the way to the Indian 40 yard line with 61 seconds to go in this one. And I think the Cougars will let that yeah, the play clock uh, go down as far as it can. And uh, of course, the clock's not running. Right we're going to get a change of possession. That's a lot of new bodies in, including a new quarterback. Yeah, that's what they were trying to set up, that's make sure everybody's accounted for. It's like the quarterback now is number 17, Briston Wise. He's a sophomore, goes 5'9. And he bobbled his hand off that time. Fumble and the, on the play. Ball will go down right at the 45, but Third he was able to hop on top of it. Wise. You know, that's tough for those guys to come yeah. in now, and you know, the timing's not there. And, you know, let them, you know, if they were able to play it, you know, two or three series, that timing would be perfect. Loss of five on the play, second yeah. 15. Shawnee took a timeout, timeout right there as they the first time out of the half. take it back to the 45 yard line with 53 seconds to go. Here at uh, Van Wert. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewers supporting TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTOW.com and click Donate. So Shawnee takes their first time out. The quarterback is at number 17. That is Briston Wise. With him in the backfield is number 21, Brendan Mendoza. Both of them are sophomores. Getting a little varsity game action on Friday Night Lights. Here's Wise will keep it and uh, gets back to about the number 45. Justin Wise on the keeper. I like to see those guys have a little success, you know. Brought down by it's a big deal to them. It is. Get out the, and then obviously one, prepares them for, for the next year. Yep. And, uh, a lot of seniors will graduate off this Van Wert team of Coach Recker has and uh, get them some experience looking at third down now in about 14. It'll be very long, Jerry. It'll be basketball season. Hard to believe. It is. Yeah. Looking forward to putting 22 games on the ske schedule. And this year we start Thanksgiving weekend, don't wow. we? Yes. Yeah, thanks yeah. Thanksgiving weekend, which is also – Semi-finals week in state playoff Correct. football. Correct. And then uh, the championship games are the first week in December, and they are back in uh, Canton again. Yep. Great place. Great place. Of course, they, uh, the people in Stark County have done a great job hosting that over there, and uh, I think it is a good place to have it. I took my uh, grandson over to the Hall of Fame uh, here, I think it was in the spring, late winter spring, and, of course, met up with Mark Miller. And yeah. Of course, Mark works there, and... Um, just I was able to connect with some of the good people there uh, that worked at the Hall of Fame when I was there. When I was Wise there. looks to throw and throw, and finally he does. This is caught, and I think that was number 33 with the number catch. It is Nate Gearhart. Complete to 33, Nate Gearhart. And it will be fourth down, however, from the 35-yard line. Gain of eight, fourth and five for the Cougars. And uh, unless Shawnee takes another timeout, there's no need to call a play. It is fourth down. Great grab that. Dude. It was a good get, a big hit at the end. And that's the way this one's going to end. The Shawnee Indians come to Van Wert, and the Cougars take a 36-14 win over the Shawnee that Indians. In the ball game. Van Wert will go to 6-1 and one on the season. They will be Shawnee at Kenton 14. next week in the Western Buckeye League game, and they are, of course, 5-1 and one in conference play. Shawnee will drop to 1-6. and six. They'll be 1-5 and five in Western Buckeye League play, and they have Ottawa Glandorf at home next week. Good football game, Jerry. It was a good football game, and I know, you know, 36-14, but uh, it was a game all the way through. That last touchdown kind of iced it for good, but a good, good ball game, and I know there are no moral victories for Shawnee or anybody. That doesn't really occur. However, boy, did they play hard. They played hard. And you can't do anything but be impressed by what this Van Wert Cougar team they held Correct. Shawnee to 14 points. They put 36 on the board themselves. It was a good night for them uh, as well. Well, congratulate the queen here tonight, Maria Bagley, on homecoming night. We want to thank our sponsors this evening. Loudix Jewelry sponsored our scoreboard. Hague Towing sponsored our touchdowns. Extra points were sponsored by Lee Kinsel Sales and Service. 
Our timeout sponsor tonight was Metzger Financial Services. Our crew tonight, Stephen McNeil and Nick Nunez here in the station. Zach Keith went at this back at the station. Van Wert Cougars, 36, Shawnee, 14. You've been watching high school football on WOSN.